E minor, full scale, seven notes. The eighth note is the octave. So we got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Starting over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each one of those are referred to as the scale degree. This is in the key of A minor right now, or C major. They're the same key. I don't want to confuse you and for this video. I'll do that in another one. Ha, ha, ha. So anyway, for this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Now, you can, you can make it a pentatonic scale. So we're going to pull two notes out. And they happen to be these half steps here. So instead of here, they take out this one. So it's, instead of, it's just. And then the next one, instead of. It's just what you got. And we missed two notes so far. That's the scale. Watch the two. We missed one right there. One, two. We took that out, and then all right. And so now, with on with that new scale, there's a lot of phrasing and a lot of stuff that comes out of that. Uh, so let me think about the phrase of. Yes, okay, this is very important because you can do like this, brother. You can do A, B, C, D, E, F, and then go the string below it, and you know, and then to resolve it back on that A, but instead of using the third finger for that A, you can use your first finger again and start that pattern from right there. So, like, skip one, for, uh, I have to compensate one for the B. I always got to think about that B, the shifting of its tuning is up by one fret, so you have to compensate, so watch. Whoa. Strap locks are very important. <laughs> I don't have them on this, but uh, I rarely stand up to play it. And I'm not making excuses, but I do have techniques. Like, I keep my hand under the guitar this way when I'm doing something. If I have to pick my nose, I do like this. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever do like this. Because <laughs> if that baby goes down, kiss it goodbye, right? Mm -hmm. So now, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. <laughs> yep. I love that, right? Let me mm -hmm. do it slow so we don't have to be rewinding and stuff. So like, I got Absolutely beautiful. Uh, a lot of stuff to come from there. I'll send you this right now, buddy. Send that, baby. Thank you, my friend. Bye. Good to see you. Good All right, DJ. Thanks, Bubba. Bye. Thank you, my friend. Later, bud. And uh, I think I'll keep talking about the video here anyway. So that... Um, Don't forget, front door open. Thank you. I appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is... So this was the true scale, right? All eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Start there. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Hey. Now with those, you know, you're armed with a heavy arsenal. Turning those and then into pentatonic, taking out these half notes. A half, you know, half space interval. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, should put these to memory ASAP. It is tremendous as far as the amount of uh, help it brings uh, while you're actually playing. This is a working knowledge of the fretboard by all means. Um, 
So I'll run through again. You can you can play these scales, right? So this is just called the scale. This is the E. I'm sorry. This is the uh, A minor pentatonic scale in its full scale, not a pentaton. I mean, A minor pentatonic would be the five note version. The regular is the the full note. So we're doing the full note version and the pentatonic in this lesson. Um, if I said by accident ever the pentatonic and then played the eight notes, I'm sorry, you get it though. Penta means five. It's it's not very difficult um, to wrap your head around that. Now look, we've got a way to exhaust the scale by playing it in a position this way, okay? There's ways to connect the pattern. So like start on this pattern, shift over to this pattern, shift over. That's a real common way. Uh, and to an extent, you're getting more mileage out of <laughs> out of the same moves on the guitar. So it's helping, you know, it's helping uh, with the, the end goal of uh, provi providing a suffice amount of um, background during any one situation for accompanying the melody or the words or whatever, okay? Now, uh, I want to show you how we would play this in its entirety in all six strings, moving in a, a, a you know, re-entrant, or not re-entrant, I'm sorry, in a, uh, in a string to stream method, rather than playing it linearly and moving this way, which is what happens when then you decide to connect the patterns. Instead of going down to get your next space, you move up to get your next space. You know, from here to here, um, on the guitar, this to this is a whole step, okay? It's just the way the math works out. From here to here is a whole step. So you can do A, B, or I can do A, B. Same thing, player's choice. Mm. Down here in Florida, Key West specifically, uh, the humidity stays pretty high. I'm not complaining. I love the warm weather. I grew up in Pennsylvania where it was pretty cold for a great part of the year. It was cool when I was skiing and stuff like that as a young man. But as I get older, man, every little injury every year would just take me longer and longer to recuperate and... Um, finally, I just kind of hung up my ski poles, so to speak, and decided to do the minstrel. I'd rather go to the ski lodge now and uh, sit there and play my guitar for people. I have just as much or if not more fun. Uh, but anyway. Mm. I love you, water. I love you in the way that you make me feel. Thank you. Now. So I'm thinking that uh, I would do a little, um, a little example of each, but before that I, I, I want to show you the scale moving in one position, or staying in one position, and then I'm going to show it to you moving across the different uh, shape, scale shapes. So watch, you have full eight note scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back to eight. That's your one again. Now from here, the pattern looks different. So this is why I wanted to zone in on this. One, two, three,
All right, Wayne Sorbelli here. Um, drop me some comments down there. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, this is like over 200 videos now. I'm working my way up. I've got uh, about 500 subscribers or so. And it's great. I think the people that are actually subscribing then are then watching my content and keeping in touch with me. It seems I'm getting to know these familiar faces rather quickly on my YouTube channel, which is really awesome. I didn't expect it to flourish so quickly after I had added some content to it. Uh, I'm very, very happy.